Let's take a quick look at scales. So there are different things we can use to measure things. Probably the easiest thing to measure is the length of something and you do that using a ruler. Let's say you wanted to measure the length of this square here. So all we would do is line our ruler up along this straight edge here and making sure that the zero lines up with one edge and then just see where the other edge lines up. And as you can see, this is a square that is four centimeters long. For measuring weight, you might have to read a set of scales. And again, it should be fairly obvious what the scales read. So here you can see the arrow is pointing directly at the 900. So that is 900 grams. If the arrow was pointing here, Again, we just need to be very careful about the scale. So zero, there's one, two, three to 300. So that means 300 divided by three is 100. So we're going up in 100s. So therefore 300, 400, that would be 500. So it's definitely worth checking the scale. So that would be 500 grams. For measuring the capacity of a liquid, again, it's just a question of reading and seeing where the liquid comes up to here. That would be 600 milliliters. Uh, if it came up to this mark here, we just, again, just need to be careful with the scale. There, if between 100 and 200, there is one, two, three, four dashes. So for every increase in 100 milliliters, there are four dashes. So 100 divided by four is 25. So we're going up in 25s. So if we're going up to this mark here, and this is 700, that'd be 700, 725, 750, 775. With a thermometer, normally you'll just see a coloured liquid uh, or it'll be sort of marked in up to a certain point. And again, you just need to take the reading, which could either be in Fahrenheit or Celsius. So here would be approximately 60 degrees Fahrenheit and 10, 12, 14, approximately 16 degrees Celsius.